Well, tragedies like this make a lot of us stop and reevaluate our safety here, as the metro is also in Tornado Alley. And that's what one Lawrence City Commissioner is doing. Zach Tecklenburg is live in Lawrence tonight to show us the Commissioner's idea for keeping that city safe. Zach? Well, like Eddie said, Lawrence stands to lose a lot if a tornado tears through. And that's why the City Hall has started a conversation to keep Lawrence from ending up like more Oklahoma. I didn't think with him going to school that that was something that I would have to be concerned about. Like many parents, Missy Combs couldn't help but feel for parents in Oklahoma. The teacher tells us to line up when there's a, a, a tornado in my classroom. Mm -hmm. Combs says her son Milo's preschool has a safe room, but she worries about how ready his future schools will be for a tornado. Right now, Warren schools have emergency plans directing students to the safest spot in the building, but no public school in the city has a FEMA approved storm shelter. Go to the hallway, duck, and put your hands over your neck. City Commissioner Jeremy Farmer says that's no defense against a tornado, and Lawrence in general needs to act now and learn from Moore's mistakes. This community was hit in 1999, and now it's 2013 and it was hit again, and you hear city officials from Moore, Oklahoma, banging themselves on the head saying, we should have done something. Farmer is forming a task force to find ways to make schools safer, get money for storm shelters, and help the most vulnerable people stay safe in a storm. He says no idea is too radical. Shame on us if, if, if we see this as an issue and we wait until something happens. Farmer also has the city's planning staff looking into building codes to see how structures here would hold up to tornadoes. And while the school district doesn't have any storm shelters right now, future construction and renovation projects will require those buildings to be built to FEMA standards. Live in Lawrence, Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News.